Hello, I'm Uneven Elephant 5 and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a custom um, first person animation. So first, what you want to do is you want to um, model your weapon, obviously, and then, hang on a sec, and then you want to, um, okay, so get it all linked, you know, all correctly, so you have your frame magazine and everything, all that stuff, you know. So it goes like that. Um, and then um, I'm going to be giving you uh, M6 Steep's arm rig. And you just want to merge that and select all and click OK. Um, and then you want to move um, frame gun into like his right hand. And then select the link button, select by name, and click frame our wrist. Um, so now when you move the wrist, it's going to move the gun with it. Okay. So just get that more in position there. Um, and now one of the first things you want to do is wrap the fingers around the handle. Oh, uh, you want to go to the top view or whatever view you think you'll be using the least and hit C and then click camera 01 and then you want to hit F3 to take off the wireframe or F3 to take off the whatever you want to call it wireframe and then F4 to bring away the lines I don't know I thought they were both wireframes I don't know what they're called um, you can click camera 02 also whoops Yeah, you can click camera O2 also, it really makes no difference. I don't know why there's two. I think it's probably if you mess one up then you have backup. Okay, so now you want to um, set up the origins, which is basically... Um, let me close out a couple things here. Because my computer is running very slow. That's that's better. There we go. Um, oh, I forgot to do the thumb. Stupid. Um, so basically what I do is I make a base frame I mean not frame a scene which is what my model looks or what my uh, arms look like when they're not doing anything and that's so that if I mess up on my animations I can go back and have um, the exact same pose like if I accidentally overwrite an animation or do one the wrong way you know for whatever reason I'm gonna move these back. That looks a bit better. <clears throat> you wanna wrap the fingers around it. If it would select that. There we go. Actually, I'm not going to bend these first. I'm going to bend these ones first. Oh, 
Oh, just to help you, you can go and sometimes it's kind of hard. Um, you can take all of your frames and nodes on here except for the ones you'll be using. Like, I mean, you can take off all your markers like these. Um, like I won't be using that frame guns not on there because it's already hidden and you can just hide those so you can see if you're clipping through the gun easier Okay, that should be okay. I'm not really planning for the player to see that part of the gun anyways in my animations. Okay, I'm back. Anyways, oh, let me just pause to do something real fast. Okay, sorry, I just, I remembered I forgot to build my model first. Um, oops, wrong one. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna get back to animating now. Um, okay, so, right, this is the base frame, what our thing looks like when it's not doing anything. Um, now you want to get, um, GBX, uh, actually, no, you won't need that. You'll, you'll need, um, CAD's animation exporter, um, I'll be giving that to you, and also the animation importer, which I will also be giving to you. Um, okay, uh, you want to open up this, and open up this, and, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so like what I do is I open up the animation file that is closest to the one I'm going to be copying. Um, I'm just going to go open up AR because mm, shotgun's not really close. Oh, looks like I already have that open. Huh. Anyways, um, and that's just so I can get a frame of reference for um, how long my animations should be. See, like, that's only 21. So you want to go and, and click this little button down here and time configuration and change the frame count to 21 or something similar. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly. Okay, and then what you want to do is make sure your auto key is off and click this, click it at zero, click the key button, and then go to the last one and click the key button again. And then click one in the center or something like that. Actually, move it more towards this way because it's going to be recoiling faster. And now, okay, select everything, take auto key on, um, and now just select like right wrist controller and move it back like it's recoiling, like that. Okay, so then we got something like that. And then just click in this view and then click this play button down here to test your animation. That's how it's going to look. I'm going to go a little more in depth by adding um, a keyframe for this, which shows it just moving back. I don't know. I thought it would be kind of cool to have this. Um, I'm kind of doing a reanimated Mauler, so that's why mine aren't generic Halo 3 copies. Right? Mine's gonna be different. It's gonna have my own little twist. And it's gonna be awesome. Okay? So now our mauler is like that. Actually, I'm gonna move this and sync it up more with this. So. Ugh, that's right. Um. There. So it's going like that. And then it goes back in and actually I'm gonna move the keyframe for that earlier so it goes back in faster there we go 
and I accidentally had auto key on when I applied this material so it's kinda dumb like that there okay and now turn auto key back on and just preview your animation by clicking this play button oh right it's the baller so um the you wanna do this so here um <laughs> oops um here <laughs> you're gonna wanna rotate it like I don't know I'm gonna rotate mine 180 stupid thing won't go and since mine's like off gotta rotate it like that um hmm Okay, so that's just actually I'm not gonna um, have it spin 180 degrees. I was planning on have it spinning 180 degrees and then coming back, but um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna have it just. Let me oops. Let me undo those animations. How's this? What is? Where are we? Okay, that's what we had before I started doing that. So now here, set the keyframe for frame magazine, and then rotate it so that this one here is up there, and then. you wanna wait a second there and then take these rotation values and copy it to the last keyframe so it doesn't end up rotating backwards the rotating back to where it was before Okay, don't know why it turned out a little different like that. There we go. That looks decent. You can't even tell that it's skipping in between frames. Okay, so now, sorry about that. So um, now you want to go and here this animation type tells you what type you want to animate or export as. Um, you could go ahead and export as a JMM or a JMA. It says JMM, but JMAs work for me too. Um, and click save exported files to original directories and that means that it's going to save them in data weapons your weapon name whatever it's called so click export uh, oh try that there we go for some reason it doesn't like it when um, I export with um, with hidden nodes because it, it doesn't export hidden nodes yeah I just got Call of Duty 5 so uh, data and that error I got was because it exported the failed animation here see as 0 kilobytes if it says 0 kilobytes you can tell that means it's dead like not working oh right um, Okay, for some reason it's not going to let us delete it. And I just remembered, you want to save this file before you export it as first person firing, or whatever that name is there. So go ahead and save it, and we'll export it now. Okay, so it looks like it worked. 
and you probably won't have this stupid corrupted file that won't go away um but I do so I'm just gonna not move it oh 